Hi everyone, it's Mike here. So don't forget to click that subscribe and bell icon to receive a notification each time I upload a new video. It's Monday morning, the 17th of June, about 10 a.m. to be precise. And I've been up since around about half past seven and already I've sorted out website orders, got them all ready for parcel post later on this afternoon. Ian's gone out to do errands, um, he's already um, taken Mr Bentley out for a walk. <clears throat> he's now very tired and gone back to sleep again in his bed in the kitchen. So <laughs> I'm just pretty much working my way through a uh, list of jobs that I need to achieve today, need to start today. So things are pretty much getting back to normal again. It's Monday, I'm back to work. It's a quarter past 12. I'm just going to, oh, no, quiet. I'm just going to <coughs> take some post up to the post office. And then I'm going to have a little drive down to a little, well, say a little, um, a store that sells gardening equipment because we left um, our watering cans behind at the old house for the new owners. And we haven't got one for here. And I planted um, a square plant about the front door yesterday. I'll show you it later when we return. Um, and forgot we didn't have a watering can so I've been having to water the planter with the kettle <laughs> so seeing as I've done pretty much most of my work jobs day job stuff already today and it's what quarter past 12 and I've just had some lunch with Ian he's busy um, assembling some of his electronic components on the dining room table I thought I'd go down to this store that I was telling you about the range it's called and buy a watering can via the post office of course and I'm here that's how close the post office is <laughs> it's a marvel So I've just come out of the range and that was a bit of a bonus. I wasn't expecting them to sell big shots, but they do. So I've got the watering can. I've got a few little storage containers too. Very inexpensive and a brand new big shot. And I paid less than, well, I paid about 20 pound less than um, what I've seen online. So that's what you call a result. It's just about lunchtime on Tuesday the 18th of June and as I mentioned previously last week I think we recently purchased a lot of uh, the lighting for the house because just bare pendants with bulbs or lamps. Um, so the lighting's now started to go up so we've done this room. Lovely. And we've also had the two lights put up into the kitchen so far. So, da, da, da. Nice light fitting there. As if, there we go. And a matching one. Well, it moved it when the other, the other balls got off. 
afternoon. Not quite finished, but yes. So we've now got the rest of the lights in the house to put up today. So we're not doing it. I have a lovely electrician chappy called Richard, who's um, just dipped out for his lunch. Um, he's actually putting the lights up for us. Um, these are a little bit too heavy uh, and a little bit a bit too complicated for us to do. But the sitting room's massive. Well, yes, the one in the sitting room is massive, as you can see. But it's beautiful. And it is metal. So <laughs> there's no way I was going to try and do that. So that's the plan for all the lighting to go up today. But also, there is a carpenter, a joiner here um, as well. And the construction has started on Ian's workshop. So the false wall and the door is going in today. So once, once that's done, we can then lay the floor in and then install all his cabinets in the garage too. But I'll show you that a little bit later. It's Wednesday morning and as you can see all the lights now in the house are up and installed and all working so I'll just do a quick walk through to show you. The kitchen, excuse the strobing, the two downstairs in the hall, the living room, Same one in the hall down here on the landing. The office spider. <laughs> and the Tiffany. Excuse. And in the other bedroom we have the Sputnik. Very pleased with all of them. It is Wednesday morning. 20 minutes past nine of the clock. And with it being Wednesday, shopping day with mum. So the first stop of the day is at the wholesalers. Dad has asked me to pick up a broom handle, a wooden broom handle, and also Ian's asked me to pick up the biggest paintbrush widthwise for painting the rough and breeze block wall in the garage that I can get my hands on. So I'm at the wholesalers, which is on the way to mum and dad's, so I'm passing anyway. So I shouldn't be too long.
So that's mum sorted. She's back home with all her shopping. So I'm now on my way back. We've arranged, or I've arranged to take her out next Tuesday, 25th of June, because that's her birthday. Um, so she's already had her birthday present because we've already bought her that. Um, she wanted a rose for the garden, so we've bought her a beautiful rose. Um, but just for something special, nice little treat, I'm going to take her to one of the largest garden centres in the region do a little bit of plant shopping and also take her out for a lunch so that will be Tuesday next week looking forward to that one Well, looks like you certainly found yourself at home. <laughs> what time is it? Oh, it's three o'clock. It's Friday, 21st of June. And we've had a fairly busy past couple of days. Um, you may have noticed uh, the blue um, settee in the kitchen has now arrived over there so we're now just waiting for um, side tables coffee table and a dresser unit for this wall in the kitchen so we've got like a, a Welsh dresser we'll say the dresser unit a Welsh dresser um, more modern version of that in kind of like a, a grey colour and so that's what we went out yesterday to purchase so in the morning um, Thursday morning the settee for the kitchen arrived um, which you saw yesterday because Mr Bentley immediately jumped on it and decided to make it his own. I'm just going to sit on it now hopefully he may jump up with me. Here we go. Hello. Hello little fella. Oh hello. What? There you go. Um, so yes so this arrived on Thursday morning um, we put it together, obviously, Mr Bentley likes it. And then in the afternoon, we went out to a couple of stores in neighbouring city in a place called Rotherham, Rotherham, Rotherham uh, and Sheffield, where the steel comes from and the stainless steel, Sheffield steel, um, to some companies that specialise in oak furniture, solid oak furniture. Um, to get the dresser and the coffee table for in here. So that's what we did yesterday. Today, um, I've taken delivery of a new car. Well, it's new to me anyway. Um, so I will show you it in a little while. I'm just going to make myself a cup of coffee. I've just been out for a quick test drive in it, um, sorted the insurance, all that kind of thing. Um, so yes, so I've been out for a little test drive. We've just got back. I took Mr Bentley with me as well, uh, which is why yeah, ho, ho, ho. hello. Um, yeah, because Ian's in the garage now painting again. He's painting the walls inside the garage. So it's been a really, really busy week. Um, I have done some day job stuff today, um, but um, not a lot. It's been one of those days where I've done a bit and then I needed clarification or more information. So I've had to email and then wait back for that information before I can do anything else. So that's pretty much it for me for today. Finished at three o'clock. Oh. <laughs> Kiss it. Kiss it.
<laughs> Drop it then. Let me have it. It's three o'clock Saturday afternoon and this morning oh, we've done domestic stuff. Came out with him. Oh, sorry, just knocked you. Came out with him first thing this morning and when I got back I did some work, mission inspiration. Hey! Here! So, filmed that, edited, it's now uploading to YouTube ready for tonight. Uh, sat and did, like I said, oh, domestic stuff. Just picking the frisbee up. And then got to about three o'clock. I thought, well, might as well bring him back out. So we're down at the, the Miners Welfare Park. So we'll be here for about another hour, I would have thought. <laughs> Seeing as it's nice, warm, not so sunny as it was. Oh, ready. Um, but it's dry and lovely and not raining, which is a bonus. Yay. You can't have had enough already. I've only been here five minutes. Come here. <laughs> you brought it back. I don't want it. Should we throw it away? Go on then. <laughs> I keep throwing it away, but you keep bringing it back, Bentley Booze. See if it collapses. <laughs> no. Are you ready to go again? Eh? Are you ready to go again? He's going to keep this up for a while. Ah, there we go. I think we're starting to tire him out now. So we've just got back from our long walk and yes, you can't still want to play. Ow! Ooh. Yes, thank you. Oh, ready? Go get it. Oh, I don't know. Um, I'm worn out. But I just thought I'd share um, the project that I did for the mid-month mini mission. So this is the one that you probably saw last Saturday. Uh, or Saturday just gone, and I've put the prompt on the back. But that was it. So yeah, took a lot of drying time on that one because the, the card and the water for the brush shows, which I've used in the background and to color um, the flowers, um, took ages and ages to dry. But there you go, that's the project for the mid-month mini mission. So there you go. Um, it's now, what? Quarter to four. Um, it's still a bit too early for me to actually think about having anything to eat. Um, I'm probably not going to eat until about six-ish because I'm on my own. Um, so I'll have a rake in the freezer or the fridge. Hello. Arr, 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 arr. Um, I'll have a rake in the fridge to see what there is. Um, obviously, I ain't cooking a lot today. It's far too warm out there. <coughs> yes, it's a ball. It, yeah, it's still a ball. <laughs> Give it here then. One of the benefits of this house, clear lines of sight. <laughs> 
from one end to the other so we can throw toys. Yes, people can see you. They can sit. No, that way, look. That way. <laughs> Go on. Right, anyway, so that's Saturday. Um, yeah, like I said, I'm not going to be eating till later. Um, and I think somebody is going to be rather insistent now, aren't you? For playing for a bit longer, even though you've been out for a WLK. He always seems to be energised when he gets back. <laughs> even though you collapse while you're out there. Right, that's enough for me today. I will see you tomorrow probably. It's about quarter to nine on Sunday morning and I found another spot. So this one, this field is about um, 10 minutes walk in the opposite direction to the Miners Welfare Park. So this is a second one. Um, obviously not mown, <laughs> but still interesting place to go walk is in the morning. Somewhere different. Beautiful view though. of smells. It's 10 a.m. on Sunday morning, the 23rd, I think it is, of June. And for the eagle-eyed amongst you, you'd be able to tell with the colour of the door there that I'm not in the usual car. I now have my own, which arrived on Friday. Um, I had to get the insurance and everything sorted out, so it's all done now. I can now drive around. Mr. B in the back, we're off to see Grandma and Gandad, and Ian's away. So I now have wheels when <laughs> Ian's away. So that means I can do almost anything. Go shopping, go visit the parents, take them out even, which I think is what's going to end up happening today. I've got a funny feeling that we're going to go on a little road trip. It's paddling upstream. <laughs> it's just stood up. He's literally just put his feet on the bottom of the bed and stood up. As if to say, I'm not going any further. He looks old, so I'm not here at the end. It's got a bad it's bad at the back, it's flipped away, it's slowed up to the end. Ah, could be hurt himself. It's just gone three o'clock. I've had lunch with mum and dad. So we've been down to the garden centre and I've just taken Mr Bentley out for a little bit of a walk. I'm still in Penniston at mum and dad's. So I've come out onto the Trans Pennine Trail. So we're just going for a walk about a mile or two in that direction and then come back again or until he's had enough.
I'd like to say a huge thank you to all of my angels because without you, these videos would not be possible. Thank you.